most important thing that Mind and Life is doing is nurturing this next generation that will carry the ball and take this into the future. The Varela Awards were started in 2004 as a companion program for the Summer Research Institute. The idea with both of those programs was to really seed the field of contemplative studies. The Summer Research Institute is a week-long conference, part academic conference, part meditation retreat. This was a conference unlike any that I had been at. It was small, it was intimate, they brought together scientists and practitioners. People who have a very high quality of academic and intellectual rigor. This is a forum where we can model how you can do contemplative practice and also how you can do science and academic scholarship. It's this new generation which is really going to pave the way, really going to do the solid foundational work for a field that I think is going to develop for the next century or two. Young researchers are eligible for $15,000 awards, and it's one of the few places where they can go to to uh, apply for money. I thought, you know, who's going to fund a meditation study? And there was the Varela Award. To be able to help springboard their research and hopefully give them the capacity to generate some initial data that might leverage then going after larger amounts of, of money. My name is Hans Mella. I'm a Varela Awardee. My Varela work has been looking at the interaction of between emotions and exploration. So often they were in institutions where they didn't have much support for doing that kind of work. My name is Helen Wang and I study compassion meditation and altruistic behavior. My name is Jeff Lin and I am part of the Clinical Psychophysiology Laboratory at Michigan State University and I am a Varela Awardee. The main focus of my project is to examine the effects of mindfulness meditation uh, on the gender stereotype effect. When I received the award, I was like, whoa, maybe this is possible. Maybe my long-term goal of doing this is possible and these people believe in me. It not only helps them as a stepping stone, but it legitimizes their interests and it makes this field an academic reality. I am Yuna Kang. I study the effect of loving-kindness meditation on neural synchronization during conversation. And I'm a Varela already. I think our generation is extremely lucky to be able to study this and not be stereotyped or judged and really having to worry about future uh, career trajectory. The degree to which return on investment, if you will, in terms of new grant dollars generated has just been extraordinary. I've never donated money to anything that has had more impact per dollar. It is profound. These young people are doing phenomenal research and it's totally changing the field. I'm Rachel Jacobs at the University of Illinois at Chicago, and I use mindfulness to try to help teenagers prevent depression relapse. I think Francisco would have been astounded to see the way in which this field has developed, the kinds of questions that it's asking. Mind and Life is really nourishing this next generation of scientists, practitioners, the likes of which I don't think has ever been present on this planet before. And I think Mind and Life is the uh, support, the seed, the catalyst for this whole field will continue to spread that methodology, which I think is the most powerful way we have to understand the mind, its workings, and what the potential is for the upside of human potential.